Anna, I'm very grateful to your people for all of their hospitality, but I really don't belong here. I've got to go home. What else can I do? A phone. There must be a phone in San Rios. San Rios is under martial law. Communication to the outside world is permitted only to a select few. Oh, no phone, no plane. I've got to get out of here. Well, you just might as well face it, Yankee. You're going to be stuck here with the rest of us. And I'd say that we're going to have a lot of time on our hands. Which is not looking like too bad a thing right now. Listen, you want some advice? No. Yeah, well, you go ahead and you put on that little native number. Because I just like to see your curves clung to instead of starched. Besides, you might as well just be comfortable. Oh, thirsty? Who are you? Reed. Fletcher Reed. Dauntless foreign correspondent at your service. I don't need your service. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be too hasty about that. Just wait till you've been here a while. I see you have met the illustrious Mr. Reed. He has access to our local contraband. You're a smuggler? Oh, now, come now. Nothing so tawdry. Let's just say that I'm a convenient supply line. And you'd be amazed at the quality of stuff that I can supply. All the American luxuries. Zamana, I think you're right. I'm going to clean up and change. Suddenly, I feel very dirty. Zamana, you didn't tell me that they still made them like that anymore. Your attentions are not welcome. Yeah, well, nobody asked you, Zamana. They are not welcome by Miss Hillary. Hillary? Huh. She already has a man. Here? <laughs> In the States. Remember, she is my guest. Well, we can't be inhospitable to guests now, can we? Besides, you know what they say. All's fair in love and quarantine. <laughs> and there's still no sign of cerebral edema? Well, that's fantastic. I know we're not out of the woods yet, Claire, but it's good news. Come on. Yeah. And uh, what about Stevens? I mean, uh, Reardon, Jim, I don't know what to call the man at this point. Uh-huh. Okay, well, listen, I'll call back in a couple hours or so, all right? Yeah, just hold down the fort. Right, bye-bye. Okay, so how's Tony? Tony is doing fantastic. He's alert, he is conversational. There is still no sign of the cerebral edema. It's wonderful. Is that that's the brain swelling that you were afraid of? Yeah, it gave us a scare, but we just got to hang in there now and hope we stay lucky. Lucky? Honey, luck had nothing to do with it. Luck had a great deal to do with it. No, it was all the skill of the surgeon. What do you say, you feel like taking a little ride with the surgeon? A very skillful surgeon? Well, I think if, if you kiss the back of my neck right there, I'd probably ride anywhere with you, darling. Oh, that's tempting. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you say? Want to go to the hospital? Hmm? No, no, we just came from there. I know, we just take a look at Tony. Just no, wait. no, 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 no. You can admire your skills some other time. You left Tony in very capable hands, in Claire's hands. Now, I just want to get you out of there for a while. You've been there for three days and three nights. It's not just Tony. I don't care. I don't want to hear about it's Jim. it. Is he in trouble? Well, uh, no, I mean... Not yet. It's just I don't like the situation. I mean, he can't stay locked in his lab indefinitely. Well, he's just trying to keep the rest of us safe. Well, that may be so, but in the meantime, he's playing with dynamite. <sighs> but, honey, I know Jim. He's not going to come out, not till he's good and ready. Well, so what are we supposed to do? Just wait for him? Want to wait at home? Hmm? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Stay home every day? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh this is nice. Me. Very seductive. Taking yeah. advantage of an old doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, how, uh, <clears throat> how's chem lab? So what chem lab? Isn't that where you were? Yeah, I guess it was. What's wrong? Nothing. Ah, oh, come on, come on. You barely said a word to us at breakfast at the hospital. What's going on? Yeah, are you all right? You look What's exhausted. That? Sit down. You didn't get any rest at all, did you? No, I didn't get very much. So what is it? Spit it out. 
Is it Mindy? Yeah. Oh, love can be hell, I know. Mindy's pregnant. Miss Raines, my client and I both are very grateful that you could come down here. Grateful that uh, you could give us the opportunity to clear things up. Uh, hi, kiddo. Please, uh, allow me. Thank you. There we are. Well, then. I'd like to see him alone. I, I think that uh, it'll be more beneficial if I can t take part in this conversation. I want to see Bradley alone. Okay, no problem. Uh, I'll just move out of your way here. I'll be right over here. So, kiddo, uh, how's it going? I hear you got engaged. Congratulations. But your mama's pleased. How is your mama? What's this all about, Beth? Why did you put me here? You know why? Well, I know what they tell me. Assault and battery, statutory rape. Those are pretty serious charges. Yes, they are. You really think I deserve this, huh? After all I've done for you? Who's gonna believe you, Beth? There's no way you're gonna make these charges stick. You can't do this. You can't go through with this. Yes, I can. You can't? You can't. Not to me. You can't do this to me! with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. That'll be enough of that. Damn it. I'm, I'm, range I'm, okay. I'm, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You get up out of this chair one more time, you're going right back to your cell. I won't. I can guarantee that, officer. Uh, everything's under control now, and my client was just a little upset. I'm staying right here, miss. Thank you. get me into trouble, don't you? If you see this thing through, Beth, if you take this to trial, you're gonna be real sorry. See my lawyer there? He's about the best in the state. He's gonna take you apart. He's gonna make sure everybody in that courtroom knows you're an ungrateful, disrespectful little liar. He's gonna tell them all about your smutty relationship with Philip Spaulding. All of Springfield is gonna know you're a tramp. Yeah. How do you think your precious mama is gonna feel about that, huh? You know, your mama, she's the one who's really gonna get hurt by this, you know? She isn't strong enough. Uh-uh, no, if she's got to get up that courtroom, put all those people and talk about her family, all those private things, it's going to kill her. Yeah. She'll fall apart. So will you. My lawyer's going to see to that. You know, Beth, uh, you're gonna lose all the way around here. You know, you're gonna lose the case. You're gonna lose your mama, lose your friends. You're, you're probably even gonna lose that punk Spalding. How long do you think he's gonna wanna hang around with a notorious liar, huh? You, you, know, you know, Beth, the more I think about this thing, you know, you know I'm real glad that you started it all. Yeah, I'm, I'm real glad. Because you're finally gonna get what's coming to you. Yeah, this is gonna work out just fine for me, just fine and dandy. See you in court, kiddo.
You bet you will. Way to go, Reigns. You really handled this one. right at home. Yeah, well, looks can be deceiving. Oh, sit down. I have got some good news for you. Yeah? I could use some. Uh, Don't tell me. Radley has confessed. No, I said good news, not miraculous. I have pulled some of the few strings I have left to pull, and I finally got the preliminary hearing on the court calendar. That's great. When? Friday. Friday? This Friday? This Friday. Wait a minute. That's a little soon, isn't it? Well, the sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure Beth wants to get all this over with, all right? Well, yeah, but, I mean, you've got stuff to prepare. I mean, you've, you've, you've got to get uh, depositions and, and writs and stuff, right? I'm impressed. You sound like a lawyer. But don't worry about any of that. I've taken care of everything. I've worked very hard on this case ever since Bradley was arrested. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've been more prepared for a case in my entire life. Mike really must be helping you, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's been gathering material about uh, Beth's stay in the hospital, the x-rays, the doctor's report. What about Ed? Dr. Bauer? Ed is going to be testifying, and uh, Mike is going to prep him before the hearing. Great, great. And I'm going to be testifying, too, right? Oh, yeah, it's going to be Ed, you, uh, Lillian, and Beth, of course. And I'm going to work individually with each one of you before Friday. All right, that's great. Anytime, anytime you want me, I'm ready. What we're going to do is go through uh, direct and cross-examination practice. Okay. Shouldn't leave things lying about. This is a communal house, all for one and one for all. Well, most decent people don't go rooting around under beds. <laughs> Not under, no. <laughs> now that is hot. I'll take this. What's in the package? None of your business. Take mm -hmm. a hike. Have lunch with me? Look, I am tired. I am worried. I'm in no mood for these little games of yours. Yeah, but this is genuine, black market, American hero. Real American cold cuts. Mm -hmm. Real American bread. And lots <laughs> of real American ketchup. Catch up on a hero. Yeah, well, don't look a gift horse in the mouth because when you can get a hold of this stuff, you put lots of ketchup on everything. Does Let's wonders get for the beans. Let's something straight, all right? I don't want your ketchup. I don't want your sandwich. I don't want your opinions. I don't want your company. Well, I don't want anything. You do from you. want this. Oh, no. Oh. Not again. Samana! Samana! What's the matter? What happened? I knocked out another one. I have this awful habit of belting guys when I first meet them. Would you get me a cloth and some water to clean off the wound? Miguel Agua. Europe Olympia, he is bleeding? Yes. Wait a minute. This isn't blood, this is ketchup! <laughs> it's real American ketchup! You blinding, <laughs> really mouth of cows! Mixed metaphors! Don't you come near me again! Don't you talk to me! Don't you look at me! Don't you think about me! Oh, well, I guess this means marriage is out of the question. Oh, I don't need you! Yes, you do, because I can get you in contact with the States. You can? I'm a very useful person. I might even... Think of a way of sneaking a friend out of this godforsaken country. How close a friend? 